YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to show you a very interesting knife. And this knife, first off, the company is called Brezek. And um, the knife in question is this one. And I wanted to get the name of the company out of the way because I have probably butchered it. It is German. This is a German knife here. That is the Tang stamp in the name of the company. I'm going to say it's Brezek. And this knife is German made, Solingen, Germany, roast fry. And I picked this knife up in a lot. Now, I actually was after this knife, but with this knife, I got a TL29. So this is a TL29 from Camillus, and this is probably from the 80s. And um, yeah, I mean, this kind of sweetened the deal. This is gonna definitely be useful at work. I actually used it a little bit today and I was using the screwdriver and the stripping blade. But um, this was just a little bonus. This knife, however, is the icing on the cake. This is a very interesting little knife. This is, I would consider a gentleman's folder. And as you can see, it is in fantastic condition. I actually think this knife was really never used. It was probably a company um, knife that was given to an employee. You can see there it has El Orca. And I don't know what company that is. If you do know, let me know down in the comments. But I felt like this knife was a wonderful comparison or at least a knife that would be in competition with the Victorinox Executive. Now the Executive if you don't know, is a Victorinox knife that is 74 millimeters. It has a assortment of tools that are very interesting. And these tools range from, as I try to get them all open here, range from a large blade, an orange peeler with a screwdriver, a small pen blade, a nail file, which is on that end, and a nail cleaning tool and a pair of scissors. So this right here is a very great um, uh, compact option if you're wanting a few tools with you, but you don't want to have a lot of weight. Now this one is going to be heavier because it's all steel, but I find it to be maybe even a better option than the Victorinox. Now it's not as refined as the Victorinox or even the older ones, but this one I'm guessing is probably from the 70s or maybe even the early 80s. So I've already shown you the main blade. What is um, very interesting is it also has a very unique orange peeler. So let me close a few of these tools up and let's take a look at the orange peeler on the executive. So that is the orange peeler on the executive. You have the flathead screwdriver there, and then you have the orange peeler. Now what's interesting is they do give you a blade right in this crevice here to peel down the orange, whereas on this one they don't, but you can see that it's very similar. And then in comparison in size, you can see that it's about the same size knife. Now I'll take that off the side. Now another tool that it has is scissors also. Now this has the older leaf spring and this here is a very classic style of scissors. These types of scissors were um, being used in the late 1800s all the way to probably the 1970s. So this type of pattern of scissor has been around a very long time. It works very, very well. But this knife has another tool on it, and that is your um, more coarse nail file here and then your standard nail file here but it has a cap lifter which I find to be very interesting for a knife of this size now you would think maybe Victorinox could incorporate something over here because you have about the same amount of material and real estate for that to happen 
And that would be very useful if Victorinox could probably incorporate a cap lifter. Now, to my knowledge, um, these are actually discontinued, so they're no longer being made. But then I've also heard they're being made. So it, it's kind of a mystery if they're really discontinued. But that would be a great addition to have a cap lifter right here. And then you have a screwdriver, then you have an orange peeler, and that's just another tool. Now this does have a nail cleaner on the end, but it's very thick. And this knife here just really is beautiful though. I think it does a great job in competing with the executive, especially in size. Uh, the size is practically the same, um, but the thickness is well, I would say probably about the same also, except the Victorinox is going to be lighter. And you're also going to have the tweezers and toothpick in the scales. But this knife here from, and I'm going to have to keep looking at it, is it Brazic? Um, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know. Um, but this knife here is just very interesting and very beautiful. Now, one of the things that was great about it is it also came with its original sheath. So that's probably also why it's in such great condition. It was probably never carried, just put away. Um, they probably got it at the company and then said, ah, I'm never going to use that. I'll just uh, put it in a box or something. So that's how I got it. And then it also came with the TL29. So that was a pretty good pickup. I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this very interesting knife. If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you have one, I would love to hear where you got it or what the history is behind this. Now I'm going to do a little bit of research on the brand and, and, and things like that, but um, I'm not going to really make a video on this company. I just thought this knife was very interesting. So till the next one, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.